Today we are going to do the false color. To do the watercolor with false color. So first you have to make sure that you're using the watercolor paper or wet media paper. So you are not going to use the sketch paper. So make sure you are using the right paper. Okay, so at the beginning we are going to use the pencil to do the pencil outline. So when you do the pencil all like don't do it too hard because we are going to make sure that the outline is not that clear at the end of the coloring. Okay, so let's start to do our outline. I'm using the HB pencil so you can use H or 2B pencil. Okay, so we have to do the land, the ground. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. To here. I want to make sure the top looks wider than the bottom one. So I just draw the line, cross over, then two lines. Okay, and today we are going to do eight different trees so we can practice how to mix the color with eight times okay so these eight trees we're going to with a different size and a little bit different shape okay so that's place our first tree so i want my first tree is the highest one and biggest one so i know the rest of the tree can be smaller so that's the leaf Okay, so leave some space. Those parts are we are going to do the trunk. Okay, then we can do the second one. Looks like the same shape, but smaller. Okay, then I want to do the tree looks like the circle. A little bit lower. And the other one is behind. Five different trees now. Then I want to do something that looks like cloud. It's behind. And one's here. So it looks like there are has the layer. Some is at the front, some at the back. And I want to do something here. Half of them. So now I have eight different trees. Of course, you can add more if you want to, okay? And pretend here is the lake or the pond or the same thing, something like the water, okay? So which means it looks like the mirror. It's upside down. It looks like the something um, opposite, okay? So whatever you have on the top, you will have the same thing, but look shorter. Okay, similar shape, shorter size. Okay, so let's finish our pencil all light. So you have to do the match thing. If they are short on the top, they should look short in the water. Okay, so now I finish my pencil outline. So now you should prepare something for coloring. Okay, so when all the pencil outline is ready, we need to get ready with a clear water. So make sure they are cool, no temperature. And we need the brush, a nice brush. And today we are going to need 
red, yellow, blue, and green. And a napkin to dry your brush. And a plate to mix the color. Okay, let's set up our color. Yellow. We need more yellow. place the red here but we just need little blue start with the yellow color so you have to make sure your brush is clean okay there has no color okay so since we are doing the watercolor you have to make sure that your watercolor looks watery otherwise it will become the pink not a watercolor so make sure you mix your color with the water properly so the first color we are using is the yellow. Just the yellow itself, nothing else. Okay. So you can choose any tree with the yellow. Doesn't matter if it's the tallest one or the smallest one. Your choice. So I will start to color something here. Because I want my tree with more orange color. So I try to hide the yellow color behind. So I can place the orange at the front. Okay. Then remember we have something under that is the flexion. So whatever what color you are using on the top, you will have the same thing at the bottom. Okay. So make sure that you are having the same color. secondary color orange so get more yellow make sure you have enough yellow and every time you apply the red every time just a little bit so we can have a brighter orange and getting darker so if you have your first orange jumping too quick so most of the tree will look like red at the end so make sure that Every time you just apply a little bit red. Every time just a little bit. If you accidentally add too much red, then you have to add more yellow to balance, to reduce the color tone. Okay? So that's my second color. I want my second color right here. See, it's different than the yellow, but it's not that dark. Whatever color you have on the top, you will have the same color at the bottom. Okay? Then we were going to do it six more times. Okay, by applying the red, then choose one tree to color. So try to smooth the color. Water. Okay, then five more times. The orange color become more reddish, but they are not red yet. Now 
now I only use two color, red and yellow. Okay. So now, the last tree I have, it looks like the red. So I want my color start to change a little bit. It looks like brown. Okay, so how do I mix the brown? Red plus green. Then you've got something like the brown. Okay, brownish color. Same thing, choose any tree. We have two trees left. looks like the brown it's okay if you don't have the same color that's fine but as long as that you like your color so when you call it you have to be more patient so you are not cross over the color on the other tree That's color our ground. So I want my ground has the green color. So same thing I want to mix it. But if you don't like the green you have, if you think the green looks too dark, you can add in yellow. So don't mix with white color. The white color will make everything look creamy, like pink, like cream blue. So don't add white. So if you want to have the green color become more bright, add in yellow. If you want your green color become darker, add in blue. So you will have the dark color. Okay? So I just using whatever green I have here. So I only need to color half. Just half 
auch kann. but you can still see the green. It just become very, very unclear. Okay, so same thing, wherever you have the grass, where you have the grass, you have the grass there. Just like the practice. to weigh it totally dry so it probably would take two to five minutes to wait all the color dry so we can color on our second layer okay then we are going to use the same color for our second layer so I just apply the yellow and red again because I just finished them now I have refueling already. So make sure it's clean because we are going to start with the yellow again. Okay, so make sure your yellow mix with the water. But this time I have my water a little bit fewer than the first time. So now my water color looks more rich. Okay. And remember, we are doing the tree, the top of the leaf. The leaf is like separate thing. It looks like the snow with the dot. Okay, so we are tapping it. See? It might not be clear when you do the yellow. Okay, but it's, even if it's not that clear, you still have to do the leaf. If you see, you're doing the dot. Okay, then I have to stop here. I have to add a little bit red to change the yellow a little bit darker. Then I'm going to start from the half of the tree. And it looks like adding the shadow. The same thing, now you should see the color clear, the dash, the dot. Okay, then hopefully you remember which one is your second tree because we are using the same color. Okay, so again, we are adding the dots. And we only do it on the top, okay? Because the bottom part we are going to brush is after. So you don't need to do the leaf. We are adding the dot. Almost at the ends. Start 
from the middle. Repeat it. Some tree has a bigger leaf, some tree has a smaller leaf. Make sure the leaf looks random, okay? They are not that organized. So make sure you do it very random. Random size, random place. So you have to leave some gap in between. So you are not going to cover entire layer from the first layer, the base color, okay? So we have to leave some space. So we can see our second layer and the first layer. So make sure you are not just brush that off. So we have to see some color below. my last one so why I'm saying last one because I'm not going to call the brown one because they are very very behind we might not see it's very detailed so we won't see the small thing so we are not going to do the leaf on those two so we can focus on the, the other six at the front I will use this color, okay, this brown color, very watery brown color. Okay, see what I'm doing? I'm using this at the branch. This time as the sample, I just try to do the simple one. So of course you can do something more realistic. It's very watery. 
okay so you won't see a heavy color on the water part okay so those are you only see the color so you won't see the detail okay and because I run out with the red so I have to add some red and yellow okay so I'm going to mix this color and the color we just used the color we are mixing right now should be darker and more rich okay so we are doing exactly the same thing that we were doing on the water part okay so if you have three branches then just do three branches more not more than that okay do exactly the same thing that you're you were doing have three branches then just do three branches okay it will look darker but it should be looks like the same shape so which means if you have more comfortable I mean more tricky branches then you have to do the same thing on the top okay try to do top and the bottom like the same I'm doing too quick you can ask you can press the pump okay you can stop the video by yourself you are watching the YouTube now. okay so no worry if I'm doing too fast you can stop the video by yourself finish the tree okay so we just wait a little bit dry we have to deal with the pump the water part okay so for the water we are going to use the last color we haven't used I choose the, the ocean blue so it looks a little bit darker and of course you can use the sky blue your choice or you can use something a little bit green so it looks like the palm okay so I use the clear ocean blue okay so I want you to start to do the line to tracing under So you still can see some grass there, right? Then 
I'm going to start to do the Brandon blue waving line. So a little bit waving, some long, some short. A little bit waving, some short. like the triangle is shrinked. Okay, then I need to find your biggest brush. So you might not have the same brush as I do, but try to find your biggest brush, okay? So whatever it looks like this or that. Okay, so it doesn't matter you use something looks like this or something looks like that but just try to use the biggest one you have okay so i use my biggest one i just brush in the water and make sure my brush is fully cover the water okay then i brush right left right start to be blurred okay then I'm going to apply a little bit blue on this wet paper see I'm adding some light but only from left right left right see I just adding some light You still can see some trees, but now it's not that clear as we did at the beginning. Okay, so if you want to add some yellow, yeah, you can add some yellow, of course. Okay. When I do the water part, I'm always coming from right to left or left to right. I never do up and down. Okay, so don't do it up and down. Only left to right. Right to left. Okay, so when we finish the pump, water or river, so when it's dry, when it's totally dry, we can add some leaf, falling leaf on the water. Red one, my red one is finished. So I can have some red leaf. So when I do the leaf, same thing, I only do right to left, left to right. I don't do something that looks like up down, up and down. Don't do it. So we have to do something that looks like that. Looks like it's falling leaf. as much as you want to there has no limit ok 
Okay, you can add many or just three. Okay, then we finish our false color and hope you enjoy the class.